My name is Henry Hill, and you may know me from the movie Goodfellas. That was my life story. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a wise guy and a chef. See, I was cooking dinner that night. I had to start braising the beef, pork butt, and veal shanks for the tomato sauce. And tomatoes. Aaron, I'm going to make them all. I'm going to make all this meat. It was Michael's favorite. I was making ziti with the meat gravy, and I'm planning to roast some peppers over the flames, and I was going to put on some string beans with some olive oil and garlic, and I had some beautiful cutlets that were cut just right that I was going to fry up before dinner just as an appetizer. The mafia is about three things. Money, power, and food. No matter where we went, Food was always involved. Take, I'm going to take you on a wise guy tour across the United States and the Mafia heartlands. Every city is different, every crew is different, and so was the food. I'm sitting down with us guys, it was real important because we discussed business while we were eating. You know, if we had to meet someone or someone had to come and pay respects to us, we'd have a big meal prepared. In prison, dinner was always a big thing. We had a pasta course, and then we had a meat or a fish. Paulie did the prep work. He was doing a year for contempt, and he had this wonderful system for doing the garlic. He used a razor, and he used to slice it so thin that it used to liquefy in the pan with just a little oil. It was a very good system. Vinny was in charge of the tomato sauce. Ah, got the smell. Got the kinds of meat in the meatballs. You got the veal. Beef and pork. Ah, good, but you gotta have the pork. Oh, that's, that's, that's the flavor. I felt to use too many onions, but it was still a very good sauce. Vinny, don't put too many onions in the sauce. I didn't put too much onions in it. Oh, three small onions, that's all it is. Sometimes when you had to kill somebody, you know, whack them. Uh, first thing, you know, give them a big meal. You know, the guy thought that he was invited to a, you know, to a sit down and, 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 and to a meal. And when he finished his meal for dessert, he get one behind the ear, you know. <laughs> but that's the, that's the way business was back in those days. Yeah. Because a rat will do anything to survive. Isn't that right, Mr. Hill? Objection. Objection. Anything I wanted was a phone call away. Free cars, the keys to a dozen hideout flats all over the city. I'd bet 20, 30 grand over a weekend. And then I'd either blow the winnings in a week or go to the Sharks to pay back the bookies. Didn't matter. Didn't mean anything. When I was broke, I would go out and rob some more. We ran everything. We paid off cops, we paid off lawyers, we paid off judges. Everybody had their hands out. Everything was for the taking. And now it's all over. And that's the hardest part. And today everything is different. There's no action. I have to wait around like everyone else. Can't even get decent food. Right after I got here, I ordered some spaghetti with marinara sauce, and I got egg noodles and ketchup. I'm an average nobody. I get to live the rest of my life like a schnook. I'm going to take you guys on a, on a tour across America. All different regions, all different foods. Some of them, we're going to have to wear bulletproof vests, mean the crew. But, you know, it goes with the territory. 